Had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? Why are you helping me? Are you looking for something in the database as well? Aiden, those vaults contain my organization's biggest secrets. I almost died because I was a part of it. I need to know what they were hiding. What if you don't like what you discover? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. How did a GRE doctor wind up at the bazaar? By not letting anyone know I was a GRE doctor. After the revolution, the GRE were blamed for the disaster. Personnel were rounded up and... executed. People used revenge to relieve the pain. Doesn't matter if it doesn't work. What happened, happened. Now I'm someone else. How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one. For you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but... First, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I... have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. Are you alright? See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. You've always been claustrophobic? Seriously?
For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? The, the database, where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is pretty high tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the Observatory. Then the virus came and that was the end. So what happened here in the end? Well, the GRE lost control of the situation and it all went to hell. Everything collapsed. From what I know, the scientists at first barricaded themselves inside. But soon, conditions in here were as bad as they were in the city. So some of them quietly slipped out. And those who stayed are the ones you got rid of earlier. So the military ran this place before the GRE? Yes. It used to be a Cold War command bunker. Cold War? A period in the last century. Wars back then were fought on a grander scale. It wasn't just about day-to-day -day matters like having enough water, UV lamps, and food scraps. In a way, though, it was just like things are now. People lived every day in constant fear. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Dark again. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. It's locked again. <sighs> what now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. I <sighs> guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select Emergency Unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. <laughs> Dr. Veronica Ryan. Director, Field Laboratories Department? A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director. Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Sure. We were five, for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. Was it worth it? I mean, did you even come close to a cure? We were close. But the virus... It finally reached the complex. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn. And things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one, we were locked inside. 
Hiding. Sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son. He was here with me. Paul. He was five back then, too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him. And I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me. Didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid. Scared. Alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway. We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go.